The move comes after the Syrian foreign minister's first visit to Saudi Arabia since the kingdom broke diplomatic relations with Syria in 2012. Syria and Saudi Arabia are taking steps to restart consular services and flights between the two countries for the first time in more than a decade. The joint statement, released on Thursday, comes after Syria's top diplomat visited Saudi Arabia for the first time since the kingdom cut diplomatic relations with Syria in 2012. Riyadh stayed away from Damascus amid Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's brutal crackdown on peaceful protests in 2011 and subsequently supported rebel groups fighting to oust him from power. The break in relations culminated with the expulsion of Syria from the Arab League. But in recent years, as Assad has consolidated control over much of the country, Syria's neighbors have begun taking steps to bring the country back into Arab ranks and normalize ties with its leader. Proposals have gained momentum since major earthquakes in Turkey Syria on February 6 and the re-establishment of Chinese-mediated ties between Saudi Arabia, which supports opposing sides in Syrian conflict, Iran. Syrian Foreign Minister visits Saudi Arabia The arrival of Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal Mekdad in Jeddah on Wednesday is an important sign that Syria's regional isolation is about to end. His visit came at the invitation of Saudi Foreign Minister Faisal bin Farhan al Saud. It also came weeks after Mekdad met with Egypt and Jordan's top diplomats for the first time in more than 10 years. In a joint statement at end of Wednesday's visit, both sides agreed on need for a comprehensive political solution Syrian crisis that will ensure national reconciliation and contribute to Syria's return Arab wing. Saudi Arabia will host the next Arab League summit in May, when Syria's membership is expected to be largely on the table. However, some members, especially Qatar, oppose the return of Damascus to the organization. The Qatari Prime Minister said on Thursday that Syria's return to the Arab League is speculation, the reasons for his expulsion still exist. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani said in a television interview that original basis for the suspension of Syria's membership of Arab League in 2011 still applies. He added that Qatar will maintain its stance on normalization with Syria unless a political solution to the crisis is found. The war has stopped but the Syrian people are still displaced," said the Qatari Prime Minister. We do not want to impose a solution on the Syrian people and there must be a political solution. We do not take steps without a political solution, each country has its own decision and the right to sovereignty," he said. Ministers and senior officials from the six Gulf Cooperation Council countries plus Egypt, Iraq and Jordan will meet on Friday at the request of Saudi Arabia.